the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 193 Isaiah 62-63 Hezeva and Beulah God, who participated in the affliction of Israel and wanted them to be restored fully, preached the beautiful news of salvation. First point, God spoke of how Jerusalem would be restored to its glory. Isaiah chapter 60 records a completely different outline about the restoration of Jerusalem compared to Isaiah chapter 47, which claimed the destruction of the Babylonian Empire. South Judah's restoration would enable the people to flourish in God's promised land, and they would no longer have to be the subject of mockery by their surrounding countries. They would ultimately be able to live as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. This was God telling them beforehand of how the Jerusalem walls and the Jerusalem temple would be restored during the Persian Empire. This can be found in Ezra and the Hemiah. God promised the people of South Judah that he would permit the restoration of the Jerusalem temple after their return from Babylonian captivity. In Babylon, they were unable to cultivate their own land. But to these people, God told them that they would have their everlasting land. Even when things looked impossible to the people of South Judah, they were to look to God and to always have faith. Although they had their land taken away due to their disobedience, if they obeyed in the future, they would be restored to their land again. Second point, Isaiah proclaimed the coming of the Messiah. Those who were anointed in the Bible were largely categorized into priests, kings, and the Messiah. The first priest to be anointed was Aaron. The person to be anointed three times as king was David. The anointment of the Messiah was prophesied multiple times in the book of the prophets. What was written in Isaiah later became the Messiah's ministry and mission. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the ear of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendants, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. Third point, through the Messiah, a kingdom of priests was to be completed through the kingdom of God. The Messiah's ministry was outlined by God through Isaiah. The first was that he would restore the destroyed city walls. The second was that he would save and restore all nations through God's covenant. The third was that he would restore the abundance. The fourth was that he would restore the people to receive God's blessing. Isaiah sang to God, for as the soil, makes the sprout to come up, and a garden causes the seeds to grow. So the sovereign Lord will make righteousness, and praise spring up before all nations. Fourth point, God called Jerusalem Hepziva and Beulah. What is about the Messiah's ministry 
continued. The first was that he did not rest. The second was that he would help restore a kingdom of priests. God called Jerusalem, Hephzibah, and Beulah to speak of the new changes. Hephzibah meant, "My joy be with you," and Beulah reported to a married woman. God used these metaphors frequently to report to Israel, and this was also the main metaphor used in Hosea. As such, God had prepared for the changes in the people of South Judah when the Messiah came. For Jerusalem's restoration, God said that He would place a God who would not last or sleep in order to protect them. God did not only want this for South Judah, but for all nations. Fifth point: Isaiah did not stop praying for the people of South Judah, although God punished the people of South Judah for their disobedience. He still had no intention of forever leaving them. Humans often give up on themselves and they give up on God, but God does not give up on us. God never gives up on His love for us. Isaiah, who was able to feel God's tremendous love, sang, "Look down from heaven and see, from your lofty throne, holy and glorious. Where are your zeal and your might?" Your tenderness and compassion are withheld from us, but you are our Father. Though Abraham does not know us, or Israel acknowledge us, you, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer from of old is your name. Why, Lord, do you make us wander from your ways and harden our hearts so we do not revere you? Return for the sake of your servants. The tribes that are your inheritance. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tong Doc app. The Tong Doc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life. To teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized. Like never before, to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.